damn I played. Look at this shit. Ah! I can't believe I did that. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Truckload Brick. If you don't know, you do now. I'm back again with another video. Okay, so I'm at Vanderbilt University. If you're from Nashville, if you know about, man, everybody know about Vanderbilt. Anyway, so I'm at Vanderbilt and I'm picking up some stuff. I guess they building like some dorms or something over here. So I'm just picking up like some scissor jacks and yeah, gonna see what we got. So what's up? Okay. He's gonna pull off right now? Okay, yeah. All right, appreciate it. All right, y'all, so I got a jam-packed day. Like, I got a packed day. I already booked my loads in advance, which you should do. You should always book your loads on the load board. Am I telling y'all too much information? Like, book your loads in advance, okay? So, if it's, what's today's day? So, I booked all my loads yesterday night. So, I already knew I was going, so I'm here early. It is... 8.33, do that look like me? And if you don't sit your goddamn fuck glass. I'm picking up this load from Nashville, taking it to Memphis. I got another load to pick up from Memphis to take back, no, to take down to um Alabama. Decatur, Decatur, Alabama. So yeah, I got a packed day. I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop my last load off today. If not, it'll be in the morning, but ideally I would love to drop it off today and then head back home. Okay. Might be easier if you just want to pull up in there and back out. Eh, no. And then get right here. Uh uh. So you ain't got to back out loaded. Oh no. Oh, we'll we got we out. got fifty three footers that have done a couple. Times. I don't like it when they be like, we get 50, 50 foot, fifty three footers to do it all the time. They want me to pull in there, back up, and then turn around. Let's see. How long are all the pallets together? There's only five stacks of pallets. Okay. I guess we can just like put in the middle of the table. Okay, okay. so that's what I'm getting. And I got five stacks of them, so we finna use a lot of straps. Okay, it's not complaining. We finna use a lot of straps. So this is what I got. I think I just put two straps on each one. And some edge protectors. the straps close to the middle because I feel like that's gonna be like the strongest point of the wood so look at this the wood just stretched out so I got a couple techniques going on I got it going underneath the wood right here and then going on top of the wood it looked like underneath the wood one but underneath the wood like if I click it one more time it's gonna crack 
So I'm gonna have to just keep a lookout on everything. A few moments later. I haven't been on the road for 30 minutes and this wood is already stressed out. All right, so the, these pieces are good. These pieces are good. This shit is cracking. This is good. This is good. It's these in the back that's wanna act crazy now. So that damn wood done crack. This wood is just like so weak. But anyway. Another important thing, y'all, when you're on the side of the road, just in case you got to strap your stuff down, that's why I always put my, my ratchets on this side. So I'm out of the line of traffic. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here on the safe side. You know, sometimes people don't want to get over for you. And if I was on that side of traffic trying to strap down, then that's like, it's all bad. <laughs> and another thing, so the broker just canceled the load I was supposed to go get to. So I'm going to Memphis. I'm supposed to be picking up another load in Memphis. The broker just canceled the load on me. So now I'm sitting right here on my way to Memphis looking for another load. And I could dead head back to Nashville, but I really don't want to do that. And I'm definitely not trying to spend the night in Memphis. So we got to figure out something. Hey, y'all. So I'm almost done unloaded. Look at this. See, look. This load was really going through it. <laughs> if it wasn't for these little metal black things, I don't know what they call. But if it wasn't for that, I would have refused the load. The wood done broke. Everything looked like it's finna come out. Shit. So I got everything unloaded. Sucky part is like the broker called me and was like, "Oh, they canceled that load and da 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 da." So now I'm up here in Memphis and I'm not spending the night. Shoot! Shoot! <sighs> So I found me another load to come back up here tomorrow and it's paying good too, but I'm gonna see if I can still get that same load. I'm gonna see if I can get that load tomorrow that I was supposed to pick up today. And then I'll make my, you know, a good day tomorrow. Like today was okay. I still couldn't find nothing out of here, but I already booked tomorrow's load. So I'm about to go ahead and head home. What time is it? It's like, uh, it's like one, two o'clock right now, like 1.30. I'll make it home by, three four o'clock you know what i'm saying by the time you know what i'm saying just like an easy little light day so now i gotta sweep this trailer off pull over that ass too fat pull over that ass too fat so that's it for today i'll see y'all tomorrow i got me a load for sure tomorrow hopefully it don't get canceled and hopefully i can get me two loads tomorrow two loads a day that's how you make a check. All right, these one loads a day, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? My bills ain't that much. This is how much it costs to run my business. Not saying I'm complacent or nothing because I'm still trying to get a check. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you just how the ball rolls. And today, you just didn't roll towards my side. But yeah, tomorrow will be a good day. Day two. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chuck Low Brie. I'm back. This is the next day. So I'm heading back up to Memphis. I'm taking this load right here. Oh, my bad. I got dude all in the camera. But I'm taking this load right here. So I guess it's going to be like a shed build. So it's going to be like a shed build. And I'm just transporting it right back up to Memphis. You jamming, ain't it? I said you jamming, ain't it? Huh? Got to. Got to. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what I'm getting, y'all. And this looks kind of sketchy to me. Why I keep on getting these sketchy loads? All these sketchy loads coming off the load. Okay. So, yeah. And they all bundled up, too. So. It looks. I don't know. I want to say it looks dirty. I don't know, though. Hey, give me a little challenge, man. I've been. I've been having it easy, y'all. Like, I've been having it easy these last past couple months. Like, all summer, I done had it easy. So, it's okay to have, like, a little challenge. I ain't gonna do too much now because I know my I know my limits. But eh, it's okay to have, like, a little challenge or whatever. And he was like, so, this definitely has to go right here. He was like, this front part definitely has to all go. And he like, 
all of it has to go, but it depends on how much you want on your trailer. Baby, the less the better. I'm not gonna take all that, strain my truck, and get in the same, get in the same rate. Tell me what needs to go right now. Right now, I might spin the block on you if you want me to. Let me put on my PPP. Huh? I keep on saying PPP. Let me put on my PPE and make it seem like I just, you know what I'm saying, I'd be out here. And I'm gonna put this on too. I'm clout chasing. I'm using y'all name for clout. Hold up. I'm using y'all name for clout. Yeah, I do. I did not my damn jaw. Damn near out of socket. Oh my God. But I'm gonna be like, yeah, buddy, and I do a lot of work for Hertz, too. You know, Hertz, Hertz right here, Hertz. I do a lot of work for Hertz. I do a lot of work for them. So, um, yeah, y'all call me anytime. Like, I'm professional. Take my little shoes off. Cause I'm what? Professional. Whoa, 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 let me go over here and guide them. Hold on, buddy, you move too fast for me. To put you on some music. Hey, I'm from California. For real? What part? Uh, southern, uh, about 45 minutes outside of LA. Okay, okay, okay. I was in California a lot last month. Really? I didn't know they had like fruit stand. You know how they got taco trucks? Oh, fruit trucks! Yeah, I come by with the corn first thing in the morning, the fruit what? trucks. The, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got them. We fucking got them. Too sad. Whoa, whoa. Pull over that ass, too sad. Can I put you onto an artist? Sure, I'm always looking for favorite rapper. Oh, we fucking got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, you look a mess. So I'm pretty much done strapping the load. He said he's weighing about 3,000 pounds. I'm like, damn, that look heavier than 3,000 pounds. He said it's hollow, though. He said the heaviest piece is in the middle. And that's about 6,000 pounds. That's not as hollow. When he come back over here, I'm going to put one more strap in the middle. So I'm not technically done yet. Just put one more strap in the middle. Just to, you know, give me a little bit more comfort that it's secure enough. No, I ain't going to put no strap right here. Because look, I purposely, I purpose, I put this on purpose. Damn it. Okay. So I actually strap where the wood is. So this is like the strongest point. I didn't want to strap right here and then crush the damn freight. So that's why I strap right here where the wood is because that's going to be like the strongest point. Same thing right here. I strap where the wood was. Because y'all don't want to crush these pieces of shit. You strap right here in the middle, it'll crack they shit. Crack they stuff. Let me stop cursing so much. But yeah, he said he got a few more, a few more pieces to, um, put on here and I'm assuming that he just gonna put it on top and then I will throw like a strap on and just like lightly strap it. I ain't gonna like do the most. So yeah. Dude seem cool. He like rap music. He damn near like black girls type shit. Yeah, he the manager over here. So he said this would be perfect to get just call your phone direct. So my goal is I know I've been taking these short runs and if you know me you know I be having them hit, heavy hitter runs, okay? But um I'm so lying. I gotta cut that out. If you know me, then you know, like, I be having them heavy runs, okay? But now I've been trying to focus more on, like, building connections locally. Because, like, this run right here is going to Memphis for $600, right? It was on the low board for $450. It's going there for, let me see, where my other phone is? Hold up. So this low going to Memphis, right? And it's paying $600. I mean, I can do that math in my head. It's paying $3 a mile. 600 divided by 200 miles three dollars a mile which is you know this is this is decent this is okay but the thing is we got somebody else hands in the pot right now so if i can get with them like if i can just connect with them and they just call me directly this can be a nine nine hundred thousand dollar load easy easy 200 miles like five dollars a mile easy like i already know the brokers are getting over i know they i know they're getting over Now, if I act like my neck and my back broke, then what? Here, you was close, sir. All right, so boom. So I just noticed that that right there is low key hanging. Oh, ah, how did I not catch that before I strapped down? DOT do not play going towards 
Memphis, they don't play. So now I'm finna unstrap this and then he's gonna push it over just a little bit. You think you can push it over with your hands? If we unstrap it, I might get, I might get the forklift. And, and just like, it's kinda nudge it. yeah, I ain't gonna unstrap it all the way though. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I made it to the drop off. I don't know how to, I don't know how they gonna get this off. Y'all got a forklift or something to just put over here? This ghetto, nah, we are in Memphis. So I ain't gonna put it past them. They probably got like a little forklift on, speed on around there or something like that. So we in here. Now you fine, who do I talk to to drop off? Uh, well, like everybody's out. Everybody's out? Yep. You mean like out on lunch or something? No, I don't, on the job stuff. You, you got that, that's what you got to drop? Yeah. But you got one, two, three, four, five kids there? Yeah, they said it goes straight through, deliver as soon as possible. Humble act like he don't want to work. Talking about some, all right, I'll try to unload. What you mean try? Are you not cert forklift certified? Like what you do mean? Like what you mean try? See, that's why I be messing up. That's why I be falling short. Like, me, I personally don't call. If they tell me that the load needs to be there straight through, I'm going to go just straight through. But honestly, I should be calling ahead of time. Like, hey, this Brittany with trucking season, my ETA is going to be 130. Just want to make sure you guys going to have somebody there to unload me. So I need to start doing that, honestly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move this closer to... Kind of weird. I'm kind of scared to unstrap right here because look at how that's just like, like a dip, the dip in the road, the dip in the parking lot got it like leaning. I kind of, kind of nervous to unstrap. So I think I need to just move it closer right here. So I get all my straps off. They talk about some. Can you move your truck? I don't want to be held responsible if this fall off. So yeah, I was over here, and he want me to move all the way over here. That's stupid. Yeah, let me record this. Homeboy dragging that shit. Homeboy, homeboy dragging it. I ain't trying to be held responsible. That wasn't me that did that. Homeboy over here struggling. Dang, he go Memphis police down here for the with me! Damn, what I do, Mr. Officer? Why he gonna park right next to me? Like, what are the odds? Y'all, y'all, he's snitching. And Dora knows snitches get stitches. Yeah, he went down that way, and then yeah, he went he went on down. Yeah, he's snitching. Yeah, no problem, officer. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? They got your girl out here working. This cannot settle for somebody lazy. Got me out here beating up. Look at the baby hair. Ew. Man, <laughs> she didn't got serious. And I don't play. Fuck. How did I? Oh my. God. Oh my. I ain't never did this to a car before. Oh. Damn, I done fucked up. I can't believe I did that. I'm gonna put a sticker over it. I'm really finna cry. I'm just trying to play it out for y'all. <laughs> another pickup up here and this is going back towards Knoxville so I got to pass Nashville and I got to drop this off tomorrow morning so instead of dead heading back home at least I give me a little a little chat a little paper or something this ain't something ideal I would take but I mean might as well I'm trying to be positive because it could be way worse it could be way worse so I'm still trying to be positive hey look Shit be happening. Stuff happens. Stuff happens when you're on the road. And I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I had to, like, calm, like... It could be worse, Brittany. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little bit of money. Just gotta fix it. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to give me a little Hispanic Jose. I'm gonna get Jose. Where Jose? Where's Jose? You Jose? I'm gonna get Jose to fix my shit. I don't 
messed around and got a container, y'all. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use four straps and one chain. Four straps, one chain. We got a little bit of overhang. That don't mean a damn thing. DOT can't complain when I put that flag in the back. You know what I'm saying, man? Yo, I'm sorry, Memphis! Shoot! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real, though. Like, I'm in Memphis, so everybody caved in. Everybody's stuff caved in in Memphis, so I'm blending in. It's like when I get back home. I ain't even try to open up my door, though. Do it open? Now, like I said, I'm going to use one chain in the back, pulling forward. Boy, I ain't used these chains in forever. They rusty. I knocked the rust on off of them. <laughs> that load just kicked my ass. I ain't taking no damn container no more. I should have just dead head on. That shit's stupid. I'm just throwing stuff in there. I'm so tired, I ain't even. I'm just throwing it. I don't care. I'm throwing it. And you know what? Now that I think about it, when I first started my authority about a year and a half ago, I came to Memphis and it was like my first month starting my authority. I, I, I see this fence is being dramatic and it wasn't even that serious for that fence to be bent up like that. All right. So this is what had happened. So the GPS took me to the wrong entrance of the place that I was dropping off at. So now I'm looking stupid. Like, what do I do? My dumb ass said, let me do a U-turn. Let me just make a little U-turn. Man, I did not know the trailer would kick back. Like, I was super novice. I did not know that the trailer would kick back. I was a green pea. So, yeah, basically, the trailer hooked onto the fence and just pulled the whole thing. It's something about Memphis, man. It's something about Memphis. Shoot! 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 Like, that's why everybody, that's why everybody car caved in. Everybody shit caved in. It's something about Memphis, man. Like, I don't know what it is, but that was a, that was something dumb I did. And I keep beating myself up for it, but stuff happens on the road. I'm thankful that everybody was safe. I'm safe. I ain't hit nobody. <clears throat> I ain't got to file no insurance claim. I just got to come out of pocket. I just got to go harder. So I got to go hard. Okay. So I'm at 10.3 MPG. You know, these containers, they don't like fuel. You know what I'm saying? Well, they like fuel. They like it. They like to slurp it, drink it, suck it, all that. They like to do that to the fuel. That's why, that's why I just hit my, that's why I hit my uh, truck at y'all. Yep, that little pole right there. Y'all see that pole? Okay, oh, miss it. Can't miss it. All right, y'all. So I'm rolling down the road or whatever. 30 minutes down the road. I'm like, damn. I forgot to put my flag on. So I pulled over to the rest area. I'm going to put this flag on real quick. Check my straps. All right, so boom. 
put that on there like that like so like so real easy work now i'm gonna get back on the road got like two more hours to like get to the crib check out my strap oh, yeah so i made it back to nashville look at that mpg Ew. so i'm over here at the fuel station diesel is 429 here and the thing is, with my fuel car, I get a discount and I'm finna fill up for like 403. Y'all. Y'all, when I tell you this diesel so good, look at this, mellow yellow. This is what you want your diesel to look like. You want it to be real green like this. All right? Now, if you somewhere and you filling up and the diesel ain't green and it's like clear and it look like water, that ain't no good diesel for you. Day three. What's up, y'all? So, it's the next day. I'm here. We're about to deliver this. And I'm really trying to find me a little weekend sack, a little weekend bag. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm on the board. But let me drop this off. Then I can really think. All right. So I made it to the place where we unload. So yeah, I'm just going to unload this real quick. over there. I forgot my truck was messed up. Man. How I do that? Look at this. Let's look a little bit closer today. Yesterday I was too pissed off to talk about it, honestly. I was too sad. I ain't gonna say pissed off. I was too sad and disappointed in myself because it was a simple mistake. Okay, so I'm driving, right? No, I'm just playing. So I'm backing up. And I'm looking over in my left hand side, like looking at the trailer, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like backing up, then boom! Hold oh, down, it ain't like this. I done hit a dang pole. I hit a pole on this side, but I'm over there looking at the left side. And I didn't even see it. Like, I couldn't even see it until I got out. Because my truck was cocked one way and my trailer was cocked another way. It was just all bad. Now I gotta go hard to get this fixed because we ain't filing no insurance claims. We paying this out of pocket. How much y'all think this gonna cost me right here? I need some some guesstimates. That right there. Ooh, that look nasty. I'm gonna try to find us a load. I mean, it is a big deal, but it ain't a big deal if I don't get one. Nah, it's definitely a big deal. I need a load. Whoa, Murfreesboro, Tennessee to Nashville, Tennessee. $14 a mile.